Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lava, good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Alright my wonderful collective, let's take a look at uh, this reading I decided to do for you today. And the topic of my reading, what truth your karmics cannot accept. Everything about your karmics. Who are karmics? Karmics is, uh, are individuals that at one point interfered in your life, caused you destructions, caused you problems. So let's take a look. Karmics in your life. Enemy, watch your back. So your karmics are pissed or mad, okay? Text messages, unsend messages. Maybe they're trying to send you some sort of messages and then delete these messages. Um, but you definitely have enemies. This is without doubt you have enemies. Enemies. Enemies that are full of hate, full of anger. Why are these enemies were present in your life in the first place? What is the reason? We have family. Some sort of family could be community, could be a family. Family that hated you. Could be an organization. And I feel like they're threatening, they're threatening your family. Social media, they stalk you on social media, they're stalking your family. They have been doing this for a long period of time. Why? Silence. I feel like even though your enemies are around, but they're silent because they're afraid, okay? They're afraid that their lies are being exposed. They're afraid because their lies are being exposed. They're heartbroken. They're full of addictions, okay? Unhealthy attachment. There's some sort of sickles. Sickles that cannot let you go. Obsession. Obsessed with you. Obsessed with destroying your life. Um, very unhealthy individuals. Unhealthy. Liars. Full of secrets. Full of hatred. And... Um, these addictions they have, they're, they're addicted to destroying your life. They're addicted to lie. They're very toxic. They're, they're not happy. They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. What did these enemies did to you? What does this enemies did to you? Mental prison. They potentially try to confine you in a mental institution. Mental prison confinement. They lied. They lie that you have some sort of mental issue. This is, could be family, blood ties, or inner circle. You were you were at one point close to these individuals. This is, could be some sort of family that are sick, unfit family. Um, could be your family by marriage or blood. And these individuals lied, lied about you in order to lock you up in a mental prison sickles they're toxic they're toxic they may be not directly contacting to you right now or having any conversation with you but be because they're scared they're scared they're addicted they cannot let go they're mentally unfit mentally unfit individuals that at one point try to lock you up why why did they try to lock you up why they lied so much about you why did this family, either like I said, blood ties or inner circle lied about you? Why? <sighs> healed. Because you healed and they couldn't heal. They couldn't heal. I feel like they're obsessed with you. They're thinking about you. They could be missing you. But you healed from this situation. You healed. And the moment you let go, problems be started in their life. So they're not happy. They're going nuts. They're going crazy. We have some sort of sex, good time. This could be your intimate partner at one point. Okay? That you free yourself. You free yourself from, uh, from this healthy attachments. But I feel like this individual spread a lot of rumors about you. But because it's divine timing, see? 
divine timing and divine intervention. So divine interfered and interfered in your situation. They removed these karmics. They removed these sickos. But the problem is, is not the fact that these sickos, the problem that your enemies, liars that lied about you, some sort of community or family that lied about you, that wanted to lock you up in mental prison, but they are sick mentally themselves. That's what the problem is. What else can you tell me about your enemies? <clears throat> Love. Coming together. Desire where they want you. They're obsessed with you. They may potentially love you. Or want to seek revenge because of some sort of love or relationship that you no longer want this person. It was revenge over some sort of connection or that you chosen somebody else. And these individuals, your enemies, wanted to seek revenge against you. It was kind of like a payback. Payback because you did not chosen them. Or it was because of relationship. What, what else can you tell me about this enemy? We have Justice. We have Ace of Swords. We have Five of Swords. They brought judicial system. They, the, the only way they could have, like I said, lock you up because their plan was to punish you by involving judicial system against you, right? They, they had attempts to lock you up in a mental institution. We have mental prison or generally prison, preferably mental prison. So there's definitely was an issue of your mental state. This individual utilized judicial system this family this community utilized judicial system out of jealousy and out of revenge because everything that they did they it was out of revenge because you either ended the relationship and didn't want it to be with this person or you walked away from that person so they wanted to punish you they wanted to punish you they utilized the judicial system in order as they hoped to imprison you so there's definitely law involved and Five of Swords, this was unfair competition. It was a lie. Who is this enemy here? Show me the enemy. Who is number one enemy here? What kind of sicko? Revenge. Knight of Swords. Stupidity. Revenge. Anger. Anger constantly, constantly slandered you. Obsessed. Toxic. Sociopathic individual. Obsession. I feel like a lot of obsession with your life. Sick. Sick individuals. Who is this sicko? Toxic sickos. Two of pentacles. Some sort of female here. Queen of pentacles. Sociopathic bitch. That wanted to punish you and lock you up in mental prison. But the fact is that she is sick herself because I have Ten of Swords here. So there is an ending of her shenanigans. It was a jealous lunatic that wanted to punish you because of some sort of looks like sexual chemistry that you had with somebody. And this individual wanted to lock you up in a mental prison. But the thing is that she is mentally unfit herself. We have Hermit here. Sociopathic sick individual. Sociopathic sick individuals. I'm going to use my pendulum and I will take a look. Is this queen of pentacles mentally unfit? Is this individual mentally unfit? Yes, yeah, she's mentally unfit. Is this individual healthy individual? Is she healthy mentally? No. This is unhealthy mentally individual. Is this queen of pentacles wanted to seek revenge against you because of the masculine you were with at that time? Yes. Yes, she wanted revenge. Is this Queen of Pentacles ex-wife of this masculine? Ex-wife. No. Is this female Queen of Pentacles currently in a relationship with masculine you used to be with? Are they, are they together right now? Why showing me yes? Showing me yes. They're together. So this is this is some other third party. That is highly jealous, highly obsessed with your life. They wanted to seek revenge against you. 
okay or, or this is could be for some of you resonates that this is could be a romantic and this is the ex-wife i will clarify who is this queen of pentacles this jealous lunatic she's right now your number one enemy okay who is this queen of pentacles and why did she wanted to seek revenge against you and lock you up the fact that she's mentally unfit is clear the fact that she utilized and lied and utilized judicial system against you. What is what do I mean by judicial system against you? I mean that she made false reports. She set you up and trapped you. Identity theft, lies, falsifying evidence. That's how she used judicial system. Toxic. Sociopath. Why did she want to seek revenge against you? Two of Cups because of some sort of relationship. Relationship. She wanted to end your relationship, the Tower moment, see? She wanted to seek revenge against you. She wanted to lock you up once again so you do not. So, so nobody sees you. Nobody hears you. Nobody takes you seriously. Her revenge and her intention was to isolate you from everybody. And the main goal was to punish you, to break your relationship up. She's stalking you. She stalked you for a while here. Cave of Swords, twice come up. Cave of Swords and Knight of Swords. She stalked you. She's a stalker. She's a sick, sociopathic stalker. You understand how sick she is? It's a sick lunatic. She wanted to punish you because of some sort of relationship. Either she wanted to break you up with another person we've seen there, or she wanted to be in partnership with this person. Severely sick person. Who is this person? Who are we talking about here? Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands. Wanted some sort of new beginnings. This individual. Three of Wands. King of Pentacles comes up here. Yeah, their family. She wanted you out. She wanted you out because she wanted to have a family with this person together. They come up as a King of Cups. They're together. There was She involved third party in here as well. Once again, slander. And slander was about your mental state. Slander was about your mental state. You are simply on a way. Who is this King of Pentacles? Cheating. Maybe she wanted to punish you because he cheated on, on her with you. And she wanted like there is a broken trust. This is, could be an ex, or this is, could be a current partner, because we do have a four of wands here. She wanted to destroy it. There is a moon card as well. Wow, she is a, quite a fucking sicko. She lied tremendously. She's a sicko. It's a sick individual. Sick, really mentally unfit person. She wanted to punish you because of this masculine. Maybe reconciliation. She wanted to rebuild the relationship with him. She blamed you, potentially. For something. It's a jealousy. It's a straight up jealousy. But looks like this king of pentacles cheated on her. See again comes up. A reconciliation. Saw that maybe if if you get out of the way. Um, this individual will come back to her. Or they will be together. Or she wanted to be together with him. We have gambling here. We have games. We have games. We have gambling. We have lies. Player. Because of this player. And love. Obsessed. She was obsessed with this masculine here. We have home foundation. We have single parent. She could be a single parent. Hook up. One night stand. So it looks like whoever that masculine here is. Um, that you were with was quite a player and a cheater. 
And this Queen of Pentacles is either his ex-wife or could be his current partner. Or she wanted to seek revenge because of the one night stand or hookup. There's definitely here intimacy involved. And this individual, like I said, wanted you out. And she could have not had enough strings to take you out by herself. But what she did, she involved a third party, three of pentacles, meaning third party, other people, and spread a lot of rumors about you. You understand? But there is a hookup here. Hookup. She's a stalker. She stalks. She's stalking you. She stalked the axe. She's a sociopathic lunatic. But her shenanigans is coming to an end anyway. Ten of swords. She's... If she's not going to be looked up and locked up in mental institution, I will be very surprised. I will be very surprised. I will take a look here one by one. So your enemy right now is this female. She could be with the King of Pentacles. She put, could, put a, could have eventually gotten what she wanted because remember she wanted this Two of Cups. And we have here reconciliation, lost chemistry. She didn't like the fact that she's not number one. You understand? That you were number one. So she wanted to seek revenge against you because of that. And she lied, as you can see, because of jealousy. Jealousy. She lied to everybody. She's addicted. She's toxic. She's a liar. Obsession. Unhealthy ad addiction. She could be an alcoholic, a drunk. That's all that she could get away with it. So your enemy here is this Queen of Pentacles. That a mental institution crying for her. Because that's what she wanted to do to you, right? She wanted to lock you up. Because she seen no other way. She seen no other way. And a lot of rumors and lies have been spread about you. A lot. A lot. I will take my other deck here. And we will take a look. <clears throat> Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Light at the end of the tunnel, improving, letting go of negativity and stress, yada, yada, yada. But she's insecure, infertile. She doesn't have any growth. She's very negligent. There's disharmony in her life. Like, she couldn't let go. She couldn't let go either of some sort of status or she couldn't accept the fact that she has no growth, that she's not number one. Okay, there's definitely, because Empress straight up, represents uh, security, fertility, motherhood, stability, creativity, femininity, nurture, harmony. She She's opposite of that, okay? She's opposite of that. She's hopeless. She's in despair. She's in self-doubt. She's weak. She lacks confidence. So I feel like she presented herself an idea of this powerful and uh, inspiring and creative individual but deep down she's she's weak she's crazy there's a level of sickness in this person's mind she wanted you to lose everything she wanted you to to have no confidence she wanted to make sure that you are staying in anxiety terror sorrow pain suffering that you become weak this is what she wanted. She wanted to project what who she is on you. She's a failure. She has absolutely no creativity, no inspiration. She has no face, nothing. Not a single thing. Tell me more about this poor individual. Definitely poor-minded. Poor-minded individual. 
that the only way she sought how to get what she wants is by spreading rumors about your mental state to the third party. She's under karma, and her karma is to be heartbroken. She will be forever heartbroken in pain because this is what she tried to cost you. Queen of Swords. There is another female that could be involved, or this is, could be an air sign female. But she also comes up both in a Queen of Pentacles and air sign. See? Moon. Karma. Karma for what they did. Because she involved another two individuals here. They come up here, two officials. So two officials, they involved here. As well, we have Queen of Swords and King of Swords, okay? So like I said, the purpose was to once again separate you. Delusion and obsession was to separate you. Separate you. Now, there, this whole trio, so like I said, is under karma. We have fears. They're afraid. They're scared. They're scared. They know that this is a serious consequences. Moon is a severe, severe manipulation and deceptions. Not just minors. Severe lies that was spread about you. So they will be locked up. They will be locked up. This is without doubt. Calling, hearing from them, single parent. We have fated meeting. We have single and meanings. Love, signs. Well, the thing is that you going to have a new partner. So whatever it is, you don't need to worry about it. This is not you that need to be worried about what happened. These sociopaths need to be worried about what happened. Not you. Not you. All right, since the question is about these uh, crooks over here, the lying, the part of the third party, what else can you tell me about this in uh, King of Swords and Queen of Swords? What else can you tell me about them? Ten of Cups, family. Family. Family and money. So this is an... This is a, some sort of family, some uh, connected and built on money. They wanted money potentially, and there is an ending to their um, corruption as well. Some other couple. They could be partners, could be family, could be uh, Ten of Cups not always represents family. This is, could be partners. Uh, two partners that partner up, taking advantage, believe the sociopaths. Or knew somehow the sociopaths because they were involved here with this, like I said, Queen of Swords, crook, liar that was responsible to causing you harm under judgment, under karma. She will be brought to justice. This is the official eight of eight of pentacles. They were officials, uniform, military, cops, judges, whatever the case may be. This sociopath did not do it herself. There is somebody else that helped her. That was part of this whole sick, toxic community. Connected to this Queen of Pentacles. But these individuals were too worried about finances. Well, there's an ending to their job. They will be fired. They will be brought to justice for corruption. Okay? You often wonder, how would someone who is so sick achieve what they have achieved because of corruption because she knew these two corrupt lunatics that helped her abuse their power and authority so they will be brought to justice they will be arrested and detained <clears throat> very sick very sick see lots of lies there's a lot of secrecy and a lot of lies that was spread about you on and on and on and on and on. And it never ended. What can you tell me about this third party, corrupted, lying third party? Queen of Wands, fire sign. So this Queen of Swords could be a fire sign, but there is another one involved in here. Manipulation, trickery. 
some other individual part of this third party that they could be friends, right? They could be friends. They come up with this plan of revenge, have to lock you up, have to get rid of you. There is another, she potentially could be the other one who's connected to this other third party that helped the sociopath to spread rumors about you. Deception, trickery, cunning was this fire sign female. She could be the one that we see in three through work. Again, eight of pentacles through work. Maybe they're connected through job or maybe they are met through employment. Or maybe this other female, she, for some reason, I feel her like older individual. She's the one that has some sort of position. Eight of pentacles, position, job, that give her access to this obstruction of justice. You understand? So she's also involved by the moon card again of lies and manipulation, but she can no longer manipulate anybody. These lies are exposed. What was initially spread about you are now being exposed. There was some sort of fire sign female, older. Uh, well, not, not that older. Could be between 40, 50 years old, okay? Not that older. Middle-aged. She's the one that also, through her access to some sort of position, uh, let's see, what, what type of position she, hold, she held, because... This sociopathic queen of pentacles would not do anything without this other one. So they were in it together. This revenge plot was together. Okay. Justify uh, employment. She holds some sort of reputation, um, dedication. She appeared to be successful, trustworthy. Now this individual is in despair. Wanted great fortune. Again, occupation. What kind of occupation did she hold? What kind of occupation? Change. Bad health. Well, whatever occupation she had, her positions were bad. Courthouse. Maybe she worked in a courthouse. Maybe she was connected to law enforcement or judicial system. There's something to do with court. She helped. She used her corruption to either forge the documents about you through her occupation, through lies. She manipulated and helped this sociopath to slander you, okay? To lock you up, to provide false evidence, accepted false evidence. We're together with her. Gift. Main male marriage. Okay, I'm not interested about this marriage. New guy coming in. Don't care about it. The most important I'm trying to find out here is this for this situation. <laughs> oh, funny. Thieves. Judicial thieves. Okay, liars. They lied. They lied. Like I said, remember I told you there was some sort of couple or some, some other people? That, that utilize there's two female and one male that help this sociopath to seek revenge against you uh, with, with attempts to lock you up in a mental institution. So something was produced, produced to the judicial system, to the courthouse. There was a corruption on a judicial level. And the individual that was responsible for that was this fire sign, Leo Aries Sagittarius. She's 100% Leo Aries Sagittarius, without doubt. And the other one was the other woman, right? That wanted to seek revenge against you. So there is a corruption. They all will be brought to justice. This is, could be a family. This is, could be a family. Maybe uh, she's married and, and was in relationship with somebody. I'm not going to look into this part. The point is that this sociopath did not do it herself. Did not do it herself. The reason why justice was not served and why nobody listened to even what you had to say is because this crazy sociopath, Queen of Wands, lied and abused her power and authority. She tricked, manipulated, blindfolded all the other uh, police officers or whatever the case may be to favor this bitch over here 
who was nothing but jealous of you, who was infertile, did not have any growth, did not have nothing to show, hopeless, she didn't have any ideas, weak, feeling inadequate. But a good liar. So now we have this official over here. So to your past, that is a bullshitter here. The crook. What else can you tell me about this queen of wands that abused her power and authority? In matter of fact, employment, according to her official employment. What else can you tell me about this queen of wands? Yeah, organization, hierophant. Always acts as, as right, you know, righteous. You know, everybody is bad, but what she's doing is right. And this is right. Judicial system. Official connected to judicial system or holds some sort of position of authority in judicial system. Connected either to military, connected to law enforcement. Holds some sort of position of authority. Knew that this other queen of pentacles is a liar and delusional and sick. But still went ahead and helped her. To me, it sounds like a conflict of interest. To me, it sounds like fraud. To me, it sounds like it's a corruption. So, will she's going to be held accountable? Absolutely. Will this lunatic will hold her position of authority? Absolutely not. She's a bullshitter, sick, unfit, jealous, overindulged, demanding, abusive sociopath. So you need to understand how this uh, jealous idiot over here obtained victory through lies. And this other female over here that helped her to get it. You understand? All right. Outcome. The final outcome for this Queen of Pentacles, your number one enemy, this jealous sociopath. What is the finale? What is the finale of this enemy that is obsessed with your life, that interfered, Ooh. hurt, pain, and suffering, and she will forever be afraid. She will never be able to let go. There's addictions here. The same thing what we show up earlier in the cards. She will continue being in pain, agonizing pain and suffering. She is afraid. She's afraid. She should be afraid. For what she did, she should be fucking afraid. With a delusion and this sociopathic behavior to cause you harm is a sickness. She's paranoid. She's crazy. She's right now very afraid. She will always going to be afraid because there's unexpected changes coming into these karmics, these toxic lunatics. Nothing but heartache and pain. That's what they deserve. You do not treat anybody this way. I don't care how loser you are, how unsuccessful you are, how jealous you fucking are. You do not treat somebody the way you were treated. You do not try to attempt to hurt another individual and label them as mentally unfit because you sociopathic jealous bitch are jealous. You are a sick person. And to this queen of wands over there, who's so-called full of authority, you are sicko. You are sickos, both of you. Anyways, there is an ending here. No second chances. The universe of looking at this situation and this female right now, that this is over. It's done. It's over. It's over. She was nobody. She tried to benefit herself by hurting you stole from you and now the universe will gonna put her back exactly where she belongs and returns you back what was stolen from you because of this jealous lunatic this is what the universe gonna do what else love children done Journal writing, history, sexual desire, chemistry, ending. 
ending. Archangel Michael is here as well. This individual can no longer, like I said, in, get involved in your relationship, hurt you or your children, stalk you, being this fake lunatic, pretending to be you, wanna be you. This is no more. It's over. Okay, this is some sort of, like I said, sick, toxic delusion of wanna be like you. You understand? Wanna be like you. Copy you. Wants to, wanted to be you to the point of sickness. You understand? So this is done. Archangel Michael is here. You are protected. You are divinely protected. There is already divine intervention in this sociopathic um lunatism because these individuals these karmics are sick sick to the sickest point le level possible no one could be more sick than this sociopath karmics of yours this is the sickness of all sicknesses i'm not even gonna mention the things that this bitch did and paid others to do against you i'm not even gonna mention on youtube no but one thing for sure, that this bitch is going to be brought to justice, along with the other old bag. Hmm. What else? So expect changes. So expect changes. There's going to be an offer come into you. First of all, you're going to be obtaining victory over this bitch, this crazy mentally unfit lunatic, you know, psychiatric institution crying for her a long time ago. Uh, this is your strong position, magician, six of ones, six of ones. There is a new offer that's going to come in towards you, potentially of relocation. Relocation, moving. What is this offer? Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. It's it's pretty much this offer is going to come in after these sociopaths are going to be arrested and truth is coming in closer and closer. So um, do not fear of any changes. Okay. Seven of Swords, these sociopaths. Sociopathic over here. There's some other King of Swords that also corrupt, obsessed, that also cooperated and worked with this Queen of Pentacles we've seen and this other Queen of Swords who is a fire sign. They cause you a lot of damage, a lot of lies, okay? A lot of destruction in your life. So they will be brought to justice here for their corruption, for their assaults, for everything that they did against you. They will be brought to justice here. So know that. Money, see? Money. There we go. These bitches are causing you harm because of money. And there against this Queen of Swords come up. The part of third party, remember? I told you she involved some sort of cops and officials. So these bitches are going to be detained and arrested. Eight of Pentacles under karma, as we already clarified. I already pulled these cards today. And then after this has happened, these bitches are going to go to jail. They will be detained. They will be arrested. They will be prosecuted. And then after that, um, there is a new offer coming in towards you. We have Nine of Pentacles. Abundance, you will feel happy with this offer. You will feel happy there is a justice here come up. Justice settlement potentially could be. You suing this sociopathic bitch for and these other two. Because there's a partner. There's a two of them. Female and male. Crooks. And this bitch over here, King of Swords, is a highly sick bitch. Highly sicko. In uniform. Two of them. They were together. This is Cherry Headed. Uh, older one and this also older sociopath here that are involved corrupt crooks part of the third party that this bitch was connected to to use it against you they will be brought to justice they will be judged for their deeds and actions and justice you know what justice means so victory will be yours do not frighten like i said you're not the one that should be frightened you are protected anyways these lunatics have no idea what's coming towards them. This sociopath is definitely going to be checked in mental institution. That is without doubt. 
Let's take a look at this message from Archangel Michael. What does my Archangel Michael wants to say? That victory will be yours. That victory will be yours. We got you. We got you back. Don't worry about it. Everything's under control. That's exactly what Archangel Michael and the Divine wants you to say. That soon you will celebrate. You will celebrate. Justice will be served. Justice will be served. We'll make sure of that. So you are protected. You will always going to be protected. Against this jealous community and these sickles. That uh, conducted tremendous actions and deeds against you. That wars you of imprisonment. And psychiatric um, assessments and detentions. Because this community is truly sick. The sickest as it can ever get. So know that justice will be served here. <clears throat> All right, my wonderful collective. This is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.